cool about the car that's sitting behind us now is I was actually just on the Vin Wiki show um, with Ed Bolian, and we were talking about the 10 cars that one day I'll regret selling. This <laughs> will probably be one of them. Um, one of the cars that we spoke about with Ed was his former LP640 six-speed manual. And this car is probably the best example left today, not just in the US, but potentially in the world. There were about 28 cars that came to the US, five cars that ended up going to Canada, so a total of 32 cars for North America. Of those cars that came with a six-speed manual, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 good collector quality cars left today in the world. So what I love about this car and its details are the fact that it's completely bone stock. You see any Murcielago examples today, LP640 cars, and they have been modded to death. I mean, big wheels, colored brakes, exhaust, radio, floor mats, shift knobs. It's almost absurd what guys were doing to these cars when they were new. This car is completely stock. Original steering wheel. The radio has never been touched. Yes, it sounds horrible because it's so quiet, but it still has its original exhaust, original wheels. It even has its original Pirelli tires. You just don't find collector quality examples like this anymore. And I really think that this car marks the end of an era and the end of finding a car like this. This car is irreplaceable. Ed was the first guy that actually started to talk about how rare the cars were and how special they were. And I think, you know, from that, that's when the market really changed. You saw it, you saw cars start to trade hands at 300,000, 320, 350, and then 400,000. Today, the market's completely changed. And that's because there's hardly any left. And the reason for that, so there was 26 cars brought into the US. That's 26 six-speed manual coupes and roadsters, and another five cars that were brought to Canada. So you have 31 cars for North America. Let's add one car, two car that we haven't discovered yet or Ed hasn't found. Um, 18 of those cars are coupes and eight are roadsters. Now of those cars, you could say that there's only 15 that are truly collector quality. Basically just going down this, here's one car, 39,000 miles, another car, 30,000 miles. Both of these cars had SV body kits, crazy wings. Here's another car, bumper was replaced when it hit an animal at 140 miles per hour, 45,000 miles. Now here's a nice car, um, a black car, about 6,000 miles that actually Roy Katz sold to the Atlanta area. Um, here's a Arancio orange car, 07 coupe, crashed in 2016. Another black coupe crashed. Here's one uh, engine fire, salvage title, a black car. Um, there was actually two nice balloon white cars. Those cars are still left. And then, oh, here's another salvage title car. We recently sold the Oro Adonis coupe. Very nice car, 6,000 miles. This was the car that sort of first changed the market. It was the car that sold for around 300,000 at RM Sotheby's about almost three years ago. Ah, the other orange coupe rebuilt salvage title and now wears an SV style front bumper. And, and really when you go over this, it's like flood damage, uh, rebuilt title, um, uh, converted using SV style body panels. So, so really, th here's another one, 31,000 in damages according to Carfax. So when you go over this, We've essentially dealt in the best cars. We've had Ed's former Verde Ithaca Coupe. We have the yellow car that you guys have seen with 4,000 miles, uh, the gold coupe, the green roadster that we sold about two years ago, which will probably never reach the market again. It sold to a 200 car collection. Um, and, and really, it, the white car recently sold to a big collector. What's interesting is there's one Grigio Telesto coupe um, that's left with low miles, 
the owner refused 500,000. The Blue Eli car that's left with three or 4,000 miles, the owner refused any offer. Um, and really all the other cars, even the black black car that sold with low miles, he refused 500,000. So really you would say that there's nothing left. Um, considering the rarity of what's left and, and where the, the good cars have gone, they've gone to big collections and probably won't reach the market again. Who knows what the value of a good six-speed manual LP640 will be in the next two, three, maybe five years. A car with 4,100 miles like this, it's all in the details.